Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk about some tools and hardware that I'm using in my home as my uh, server and uh, the tools that I'm using usually for simulating and testing uh, the scenarios. Of course, I'm sure this is not the best solution. This is just what I'm using and I just wanted to share with you because I had a lot of questions, especially in my email that uh, how can we uh, simulate these items or how can I install in this operating system so that's something that I'm using. Of course, you always can use the cloud environment, but um, I find it's not feasible for all uh, solution. And also sometimes it's uh, cheaper to run, uh, to buy a hardware once and then in in install whatever you want and then uh, let it run. Um, what I'm using is a single board server. Zimo board is a very a small um, piece of hardware that uh, you can order in different formats. They have uh, with two gigabyte, four gigabyte, and eight gigabyte RAM. It has a lot of uh, slots. What I like about it is that it has uh, two uh, LAN interface that I that is really useful for me when I want to uh, simulate some scenarios. And also, uh, it doesn't. Uh, the cooling system is uh, very good because it's not really generating a lot of heat, and also it's not using a lot of electricity so that was the item that i really was important for me so i choose this zima board of course if you already have a, a old pc you can use that one and you can have the same lab but because i didn't have just i bought this now it's for some months and i really like it also it's really cool looking i like it and then in the box it comes with a uh uh, with this not uh, included but i mean you can order a lot of uh, s a lot of boards let's just uh, search their website for example uh, the wireless boards or the uh, multiple usbs or also for example you can connect to the lan to gigabit lan and a lot of cool things that you can do with this uh, piece of hardware what i'm doing i have installed a proxmox it's a visualization environment uh, let me show you. This is my Zimo board with the Proxmox installed on it. And uh, how it works when you're installing Proxmox, you can divide your piece of hardware to multiple virtual machines. So uh, each of them has their own IP, their own uh, hardware, for example, I don't know, memory, process. When you are creating a VM, for example, I want to create a new VM, you can assign, uh, let's assign a name. Let's assign it, for example, a test. You can uh, select what, for example, operating system do you want to use. Of course, you need to upload your ISO file. Um, it's very easy and there are a lot of documents and videos in the YouTube that you can uh, see how to actually use the Proxmox. So I really like it. And then you can uh, specify uh, what is the, uh, for example, uh, how much disk do you want to assign to this uh, virtual machine or how many CPU cores do you want to use or how much RAM do you want to uh, use and then it will create a VM for you. So uh, what I'm doing, uh, what I did is just uh, install Proxmox and my Zim Zimo board and then I connected to the my internet modem and then I have a semi lab that I can use for a lot of scenarios. Of course, as I said, for a lot of scenarios, I still I'm using the cloud environments like DigitalOcean or the others, but uh, it's a cool solution as well. I mean, for a lot of scenarios, I yeah, it's, it's a good solution to use. Um, the other tool that I want to uh, introduce to you is a Ventoy tool. Uh, it's a USB solution. Of course, there are a lot of uh, softwares like this, but when you want to install Proxmox or any operating system on your Zimo board, then you want a bootable, you need a bootable USB. This uh, Ventoy tool is a very cool tool. You can download it, you can install it on your Windows or Linux, and then you can make a USB flash bootable. So uh, you just plug the uh, you, 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 just don't, you just download your ISO file from Proxmox, put it in your flash and connect to the system and boot it and then you can install the Proxmox or any operating system that you want to use. Uh, that's it, that's the three tools that I wanted to introduce to you today. I try to and create another video on other tools that, uh, or have more introductory videos on what are the tools that we can use in our lab or what are the tools that at least I'm using. If you are using any other tool or hardware, piece of hardware, I will be happy to hear about it. Uh, I really like to know 
uh, what you are doing or uh, what you are using in your uh, lab environment. Uh, also, as the last part of this video, I just want to show you how to install Proxmox on this Zima board. So first, download Proxmox uh, virtual environment from this website. You can Google it and definitely you can find it. D download the Ventoy and then uh, create a, a USB flash bootable and then copy the uh, Proxmox ISO into your USB and follow what I'm doing now. So after you have connected your um, USB drive to the Zima board, just boot your Zima board and press F11 to uh, come to the uh, boot menu. Select your uh, USB here. Mine is uh, AI mass storage uh, because I already know the name. So you can plug and unplug to detect the name. It will go to the Ventoy. I have two ISO images here, but if you, if you just copy the Proxmox, so you should be able to just see the Proxmox. Uh, boot into the normal mode and now you are in the Proxmox installation page just install Proxmox VE and here it take a while because uh, of course these machines are not very powerful so it takes some time and uh, and when the loading uh, fully uh, when the system fully booted then you you need to accept the license it's, the installation is very uh, straightforward. You can, in a lot of cases, you just, just select the default one. Here I have an external hard disk that I connected to my uh, Zimo board. So I need to select that uh, external hard disk. And, and this is the thing, you need to install an external hard disk to your Zimo board. Uh, and uh, Proxmox cannot be easily installed on the embedded system. So that's something you need to consider as well. Then just select your country time zone and uh, then enter the IP address and that's it. That's how uh, you can install Proxmox. It's very easy and straightforward. You, you can select, you need to uh, pass a password. I mean, it's very straightforward. I'm sure you can, if you start installing it, you should be able to finish it uh, very easily. Uh, thank you for watching this video and uh, I hope this video is useful at least uh, I, I'm, I know it's not a very professional video but at least I think it will be useful for uh, some users who wants to know uh, how they can have a simple lab. Thank you and see you in the next video.